Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is one of the spiritual lessons. Like, child, I need to make an entire book of spiritual lessons because I feel like throughout life, the universe and God will teach you lessons. Like, I don't know, like throughout your life, there there's things and themes in life that you will learn. Universal themes that can be applied to anybody, no matter where you are. It's not it's not exclusive to a region or a culture. This is just things, period. And something that I'm realizing and the spiritual lesson that, you know, many people learn throughout this lifetime is that God or the universe or both will not reward you if you are with the wrong person or people. Now, this could be like romantic or platonic relationships. It could be your romantic partner or it could be the type of people you hang around for example if you are hanging around people who are low vibrational they're not on your energy they are doing low vibrational or just negative behaviors like stealing lying just doing really unkind behaviors you will not only not get your rewards that you're supposed to get in this lifetime or like at that current time but you will also get their bad karma yes and I, that's what i love about the universe the universe is very fair it's like you can't hang around people who do evil act like you're blind and then expect good to come to you no you being a bystander you're also getting that that negative karma so like okay if you are dating somebody right but the relationship is not healthy you can obviously tell this is not your person like i don't know if anybody else has this but like i can get with somebody and i can tell i don't know like i can just tell you're not my soulmate like and it's crazy because it's like i will literally sit there and waste my time because i'll feel bad for just like suddenly breaking up with them but like i can tell when somebody's not my person like i can just tell like yeah we just don't we just don't vibe like that like i don't know i feel like when i truly find my person i will not or maybe I'll second guess myself, but usually for me, it's easy to tell. And so say, for example, I'm staying in a relationship and the relationship is unhealthy or it's just not good, or I can just tell this isn't my person, but I'm not leaving. The universe will not reward me with what I'm supposed to be receiving because of the people that I'm with. Like you don't want to carry people to the next level that are not even on your level to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something that's hard to explain. But it's like something that I noticed, especially with me, humans have a problem with letting go of relationships that are not serving them. And so sometimes the universe will give you a shove. For example, they might show you why you would leave this person. Like, for example, your boyfriend, the universe might reveal to you or you might have a dream or you might go through his phone. Like something will be whispering to you like a lot of women have this experience where it's like something will tell them go check his phone go check his phone and you might catch him cheating talking to another girl or just talking shit about you or talking about plans to leave you and that might push you to leave him or if the universe feels as though you're probably not going to leave this person on your own they will actually make this person leave you and you know at first i used to just be very like upset because i especially have a hard time with letting go of relationships I don't like losing things you know what I mean and so like there was a point in my life where I just used to be like oh like why do they have to leave like why did it have to go that way you know why can't we still stay friends like you know why did this happen with that person why like why 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 especially for me it usually happens close to the new year so like I remember the year of 2022 that is when I kind of almost like kind of semi like but basically ended things with the nonchalant guy that I was talking to it was really toxic um just a really horrible situation and it ended very poorly like I got added to a group chat they bullied me they called me <sighs> derogatory names like hoes and sluts and um they tried to expose me for cheating on him but I never did because we were not together and when we were together he cheated on me the entire time with my cousin it was a really horrible situation and that happened right 
again, I was left crying for two weeks. Like I was crying because of the way it happened and like I was attacked. Um, but I was also crying because of how things ended and the fact that things ended, period. Um, another situation was like, it was like close to the end of the year and I actually stopped talking to one of my friends that I had in high school. I'm not going to say too much information, but <laughs> if you know, you know, and that happened close towards the end of the year. And I just remember thinking like, why, like, why did things have to end? Why did it have to go that way? And then that's when, that's how I started my YouTube channel in the first place. I had an epiphany. I was like, wait a minute. These things are happening because I call it almost like an energetic purging. Like the universe is purging your social life. It is purging those energies around you who do not serve you or you just can't go to the next level with them. You know what I mean? So it's crazy it's it's crazy because you don't realize that in the moment you're just like oh like almost ungrateful like why did this happen why did it have to go like this but now i'm thankful whenever people leave my life or you know what i mean whenever i lose connections that means it was never supposed to be there in the first place or it no longer serves me anymore and i just have to move on to the next step you know that's what caused me to create the youtube channel in the first place that was my first spiritual lesson i actually felt like I learned like I was able to call it out and be like wow this is a spiritual lesson this is the lesson of purging those energies around you leaving people who do not serve you and if you don't do it yourself after a certain amount of time the universe will do it for you and like I said the universe does not run on a clock the universe I feel like and this is what backs up the claim that like time is an illusion the universe does not run on a specific amount of time like it's not like okay after a year the universe will give you a year and then they'll purge them out of your life no it depends on the person usually for me it's like a year and some months like maximum is like two years and then they'll get them out of my life like I don't know why but for me like the universe purges people out of my life pretty quickly like usually within like a year or two some people it could take five years or even a decade like i've noticed people will be in like these relationships unfaithful relationships and marriages and will be getting cheated on it'll be toxic and they will be in that relationship for like a decade and then the universe will decide like okay you need to get that person out of your life it depends on the person but i hope that you know whoever's watching this can learn to appreciate whenever people leave your life be thankful and try to look at it from the perspective like ask yourself why were you guys outgrowing each other is there something you have coming into your life and was it almost like convenient that they leave leave left your life before you received this thing you know look at what happened before and after the purging um think of your relationships like was this a healthy relationship to begin with i'm telling you this now all of the people that I no longer have in my life were not good relationships. They were people who took advantage of me, lied to me, talked shit behind my back, was never even a real friend to begin with. And I am thankful that they are no longer in my life because, you know, you were never supposed to be in my life anyways. So, yeah, that's this video. It's just a quick, you know, spiritual lesson. This is going to be added to my spiritual lesson section of my YouTube channel and yeah, like I said, I call it a spiritual cleansing. It's almost like a cleansing, a purging of these negative energies that no longer need to be in your life. But yeah, let's appreciate what God and the universe does for us. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Give thanks to your ancestors and spirit guides as well. Peace.